The Paul Leslie Interviews. It is a dream come true to talk with one of the greatest musicians to ever live. He is loved all around the world. He's sold over 65 million records. Thank you so much, Mr. Domino, for talking with us. Yeah, I'm glad to be here with you. Oh, it is such an honor. I have a special message that comes from Paul McCartney and his band. Oh, yeah, huh? They, we did an interview with them, and they wanted to say that they're so glad that you're all right and that you're still rocking in the free world. Oh, yeah, it's very nice, <laughs> My first... Mm -hmm. That's very nice. What was life like for you growing up? Well, I don't remember all that. <laughs> 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 so how you doing? I'm doing great. This is this is a fabulous experience. Uh -huh. What what kind of mu music did you listen to growing up? Oh, uh, most all kind, but I was all the like the rhythm and blues, you know. Oh yeah, rock and roll. They call it, you know, you know. Did you have a favorite musician back then? Oh yeah, gang, I had gang of them. <laughs> I had gang of them like Amos Milburn. Charles Brown, I don't know if you were Louis Jordan. It was, you know, a lot, lot, lot of stuff. I like all type of music, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, tell us a little bit about you. I, I understand your father, did he play violin? Yeah, he, he did. He used to, you know, he, he, he passed away, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that uh, you covered the Hank Williams song, Jambalaya. Did you ever get into other kinds of music like that? Oh, yeah, I made a lot of songs, like Blueberry Hill, you know. I made a lot of different records, you know. Yeah. Mm hmm I was hoping you could tell us about Harrison Verrett. Well, my brother, he married to my sister. And he played a big part in your life. Yeah, he showed me a lot of, with the piano. He used to play with Papa Celestine. That's a Dixieland band, you know, Papa Celestine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So, how did you start playing music for a living? Well, we had a piano in the house. I was born on Night Ward, you know, in New Orleans. And had piano, you know, we had a lot of pianos during that time, you know. If you could put it into words, what is it that you like about music? Mm -hmm. I just like music, too. I like everything about it, you know. And I just... I got my little style together, and uh, people seem to like it. I think they glad they knew what it did, you know? Yeah. Mm hmm I was hoping you could tell all of our listeners out there about meeting Dave Bartholomew. Well, I'll tell you, I don't know how I met Dave, but Dave was a great, great, great trumpet player. Me and him wrote a lot of songs together, you know? And those songs have lasted a long time, and they're loved by people from all over the world. There are people that, that love that music that are of all ages, they're of all races, and they live in all different types of countries. Why do you think people from all over the place and so many people love your music? I don't know, but I'm certainly glad to know that they do, you know. And I certainly <laughs> appreciate that they do like me. I think, I think if I could say the reason that I always liked your music is because uh -huh. you always seemed like you were having fun when you were making it. Oh, yeah, I enjoy playing, you know, when I'm recording or whatever, playing it, you know. Either, either, either one of them on stage, you know. When you look back at your life, what are you most proud of? Well, I'm just proud to be living. Thank God I'm still living, you know. <laughs> and I got and I, I got a lot of fans, and I still appreciate that. They mean so good to me, you know. I, I've read that you enjoy cooking. Uh, what is, what's your favorite thing to make? Mm, a lot of things. I cook a lot of Stuff, you know, used to be cooking it, you know. Well, let me ask you this. What's your favorite thing to eat? Oh, anything is cooked right. <laughs> <laughs> no special, not special. In, in your life, did you ever meet Professor Longhair? Yeah, I think he passed. I think he passed away, didn't he? Yeah, he's been gone for quite a while. Yeah, he, he, he had a different style from anybody else. I, I, I liked his style, you know. I was hoping we mentioned Paul McCartney just a little while. Can you remember meeting the Beatles back in 1964? Yeah, I, I met him several places. I, I met him when I was in England. I think it's from Liverpool around that way, you know. And what were they like? 
They were nice, you know, very nice, all of them. Mm -hmm. Now, out of all the songs that you've written and recorded, do you have a favorite? No, I'm just, I'm so glad that the people liked the songs I did, you know. And I appreciate that very, very much. They've been good to me. There's not a song that's more meaningful. No, they're all the same, you know, I just like to record and I record, I like all the songs I record, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when someone listens to one of your records, what do you hope that they get out of that experience? Well, I don't know. I guess they heard the record before. For some folks, some other people made a lot of records too, you know? Yeah. They like Blueberry Hill. That was made uh, by several people before I did it, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I, I've read that you had a very uh, a strong fondness for that song. You really liked that song. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that number that, that number wrote, wrote years and years ago. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about those those old songs. You know, a lot of the songs today, I think they kind of they come and go. But those songs, like the ones that you did, they'll be around forever. Yeah, well, I liked them myself when I first heard them years and years ago, like Blueberry Hill. I didn't write that, you know. You're right. And uh, I was lucky enough to get a big hit out of it, you know. The first song of yours to ever be on the radio was the song Rocket Chair. How, how did you feel the first time you heard your music on the radio? Well, you know, it was a little different to me. I'm glad to you knew it was on there, you know. It sounded all right. I was hoping, hoping the people liked it, you know. And they, they certainly have. Mm -hmm. and, you know, one of my favorite places to visit is New Orleans, and you make your home in the state of Louisiana. And I was born. I was born in New Orleans. It's it's a wonderful town, and I was hoping you could tell everybody out there. As some of the people listening, we have people listening from all over the world. Some, uh -huh. some of the people maybe have never been to New Orleans, but I'm actually going to be going to New Orleans in a couple of weeks, so you'll definitely be on my mind. But what do you like most about New Orleans? Well, well, I was born and raised down here. You know, we born your home. You know, and I like, like everything about it. You know. That's why I never left New Orleans. And you can't beat the cooking down there, that's for sure. Yeah, they go to the they look, people love to cook down here. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, you, you, you performed your music all over the world. What was your favorite place to play your music? No particular place. Everywhere I played, I was, I was hoping that the people would like it, you know, like the music, you know. I'd, I'd read that you uh, you really liked Las Vegas. Yeah, I played out there for, for many years. I went out there for a free festival. I played the Flamingo for years, you know? Yeah, I saw a picture of you and Elvis together in Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. He's he, he working at another club, you know? I think I was working at the Flamingo, I think, doing that time. You have your your latest album. Uh, it's to help out all the Louisiana, uh, the effects of the hurricane, and it's called Alive and Kicking. Uh, tell us about that album, Alive and Kicking. Well, I don't know. I just hope the people liked it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like the song, you know, you know the, the people have been very good. And, you know, I've been very blessed with the people liking my music so much. How, how did you feel when you were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Well, I was lucky to get it. You know, I was going to say, well, God is good. So that's, that's how everything happened, you know? You just said God is good. Do you do you credit God for a lot of your success? Well, I've I got some for, that I'm still living, and I'm still here. We all, you know, right. without him, we 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 wouldn't be nothing. That's right. That's absolutely mm -hmm. right. So, mm -hmm. let me ask you: What do you like to do with your spare time? Oh, I'm gonna be at home, food the piano, and um, I like to cook. Cook a lot, you know. You play on the piano every day. Well, every time I feel like it, and that, that's pretty often. I, I keep myself in shape practicing, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you ever think you'll ever record again? I think so. If I get the right material, see something I like, I'll record, you know? Uh, that that makes my day to hear that. Well, mm -hmm. I, I have one more question, Mr. Domino. Mm -hmm. What do you want to say to all the people around the world who are listening to this? Well, I'm just glad that the people like me, and um, I can't thank them enough for that. You know, it's a gift from God that they do, you know? Mr. Domino, thank you so much for this interview. This has been a dream come true. Okay, thanks a lot for calling. All right. All right, so long.